ओके सयान डू यू नो व्हाट टाइम इज इट 2 पीएम लंच टाइम अरे नॉट अबाउट द फूड इट इज टाइम फॉर द अल्टीमेट स्मार्ट वॉच वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट बिकॉज वील टेल यू द बेस्ट स्मार्ट वॉचेज यू कैन बाय फ्रॉम वन थाउजेंड All the way to six thousand, and link to the all products you can find below in the product tag. And stay tuned till the end because we have a very surprise, interesting Shark Tank smartwatch. Let's go. Now, if you go on Amazon, there are a lot of smartwatches under five hundred, one thousand, but they work good for initial days, but they go bad after some time. So I would suggest having a budget of around fifteen hundred rupees for smartwatches because then you will get all the basic smartwatch features plus calling functionality and all of that. So first up is the Firebolt Ninja Call Pro. That was terrible. Now if you go on Amazon, see it is presently selling for one triple nine INR, but during sale it even goes as low as one four double nine, and for that price. This is pretty decent. Like the build quality and design is not bad for the price. Yes, the chin at the bottom is a bit big, and the straps here are very basic. But at this price, I have no complaint. Even taking calls and all, I didn't have any problem. The volume is a bit low, but for this price, I won't complain. And there are some cool features here. Like, see, if I swipe from the side, like this, you get the sidebar, and here you can select games. And now you get three classic games. I'll play this one, Thunder Battleship. Can I kill him? The firing is very slow. Oh, it's under it. This reminds me of those days when we had handheld video games, the Game Boy. Let us know in the comment section which was your favorite retro game. Mine is still Mario. Mario is now yes, the heart rate tracking, workout detection, they are not very accurate. The only thing is the Firebolt watch has a battery life of only three days. So if you want a watch only for Bluetooth calling, but health tracking features and all are not that important to you, this Firebolt Call Pro at fifteen hundred INR is a good option. Now, if you increase your budget to around two and a half thousand or even three thousand, then I would recommend getting the Boat Wave Electra. During sale, the price is even dropped down to two thousand. And here's a misleading marketing trend that I noticed. See on the Amazon page, all the pictures are showing a dark watch face, and then they say that the screen is quite big, one point eight three inch. And see if I measure the display diagonally with a measuring tape, it is only four centimeters. And by the way, four centimeter is one point five seven inch. Let's take it 1.6 inch, which is again nowhere closer to the claim. Plus, it also has this huge chin. This is not just with Bolt. Almost all brands selling Firebolt, Noise. It looks like it's all display, but in reality, the watch looks like this. A suggestion to the brand: stop doing this. Other than that, the watch is okay for the price. The build and strap quality is decent. Now, it has a better heart rate monitor than the Firebolt one. So see here, if I keep both the Firebolt and the Boat Wave Electra smartwatch on the table. The Firebolt one is detecting heartbeat. Oh, hold on. Can you hear me? Oh. Bro, the table is alive. I accidentally pressed the button. <laughs> so the Boat Wave Electra can detect the difference between a human skin and this table. So it doesn't take heartbeat when you're not wearing it. On a serious note, if you have a budget of two thousand five hundred rupees, the Boat Wave Electra is a good option. Now there are a lot of smartwatches around the three thousand to five thousand mark, and you start getting some additional features like AMOLED display, always-on display, better build quality. But our favorite pick is the Noise Color Fit Four Pro Alpha. What a name! For three reasons. Firstly, it has an AMOLED display and an always-on display. There are many who don't give both option. I'm looking at you, OnePlus Nord Watch. Second, it has a functioning crown. Like, see, I can go into settings and just rotate the crown and navigate through the menu. I can change watch faces like this. So it is simple to navigate the menu. But unfortunately, it doesn't work in every menu. Like, I can't rotate and set a timer or stopwatch. So it needs extra optimization. And thirdly, it has a 60 hertz refresh rate. Most budget smartwatches usually have a 30 hertz refresh rate. So the UI feels very smooth and responsive. Other than that, the build quality is pretty solid. The strap is very nice. It feels very comfortable to wear. Health tracking and all of that they are pretty accurate too. On Amazon, the Noise Color Fit 4 Pro Alpha is selling for around 4000 rupees and at that price, this is really good value for money. Now if health tracking and accuracy is more important to you, then you can go with Amaze Fit Pop 2. that is available for 399 INR it has all the amoled display always on display and calling feature everything next up we have the realme watch 3 pro this usually sells for around 5000 rupees and it has most of the features that you would get on any regular smartwatch amoled display bluetooth calling always on display health tracking everything 
but there is one feature here that makes it unique at this price point and that is standalone GPS. Okay, so to show what that means, I've come outside and we have the Firebolt Calling Pro on one hand and the Realme Watch 3 Pro on the same hand. I've left my phone at the office and now I'll take a walk around the park and hold on, I'll show you something very interesting. So now I'm back in the office and here are the phones. So in the Firebolt app, you can see there is no location information, nothing. Whereas in the Realme Link app, you can see it shows the entire path that I've been to, the outside location, everything, because the watch has a GPS chip inside it. So basically at 5,000 rupees, if you want a watch with all the features, this is a great option. But if you're looking for a smartwatch that looks more like a traditional watch, you can try this Firebolt Quantum, which cost 4999. Feature-wise, it is pretty basic. LCD display, average battery life, Bluetooth calling, nothing special here. But the X factor is the design. You get a full metal body. Even the straps are metal. Sounds like pile. You even have a rotating crown and a rotating bezel, but in practicality, it does nothing. You still have to use the touch screen. This is like a watch made for my parents. Like after six, they start calling. There's no eight o'clock in their watch. Also, the size of the strap is not adjustable. So like see in my hand, it is very loose. So you will have to take it to the watch shop to reduce the size. Or if you have a hand like Cyan, then it might fit you very well. And remember the Shark Tank smartwatch we talked about and the start? Well, if you have been following this season two, they have a smartwatch for kids which cost about 11,000 rupees. That's quite a lot for kids smartwatch. So we found an affordable alternative from Noise. It has almost the same features and you can get the Noise Scout from Noise's website for about 6,000 rupees. And this has some really cool and interesting features. Like number one, this has a dedicated 4G SIM card slot. So you can insert any SIM over here and now the child can make phone calls right from the watch. No need to have a phone. Also, there's a selfie camera here. So the child can even make video calls right from the watch. More on this in just a moment. And number two, this is the most interesting feature called safe zone. So let me show you here. You'll have to download the noise app and this smartwatch has GPS. So everywhere the smartwatch has been, you can see it right in the app. But there's also something called a safe zone. So you can mark an area and you can select a particular zone so if the child goes outside the safe zone, you will receive a notification. Now the one thing that makes it a hit or miss is video call feature. Like every time I try to make a video call, the call either doesn't go through or it shows a poor network. And we tried this multiple times at multiple places. It didn't work. Also, the battery life of the watch is not that good. It lasts about one to one and a half days. So I would say for the price, it's okay. So if you're a parent and you don't want to give your kid a proper smartphone because they're too young enough to use that, you can give them this smartwatch. You can still contact them and ensure they are safe. So yeah, it's a good smartwatch for that purpose. It gets the job done. So yeah, that was our list of the best smartwatches. Frankly, there are a lot of smartwatches in the market, but we picked what we feel is the best value for money for you and the watches that we have personally used. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you pretty soon. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock.